agree with new research on Bay Area commutes, what commuters and experts are saying is the top story. Good afternoon, I'm Tori Campbell. It's no surprise that the Bay Area has some really long commutes. As we first told you on our morning news, a new study confirms we have some of the worst in the nation. New at noon, KTV South Pasadena has been talking to a commuter who usually makes long drives to work and a traffic expert on why people do it. Good afternoon, Sal. Good afternoon, Tori. Uh, some of these people may not even know that they're mega commuters, full-time workers who drive long distances every day to get to their jobs. Congestion on freeways such as Interstate 580 in Livermore and Interstate 80 in Contra Costa County may be in part due to the high number of mega commuters. A mega commuter is defined as someone who drives 50 miles plus or takes 90 minutes or more to get to work. Uh, with no traffic, it's about um, an hour and 30, hour and 40 minutes. Um, with traffic, which uh, I normally get, especially coming home, uh, could be up to two and a half hours sometimes. Brad Downey drives from Antioch to his job in the Silicon Valley every day. Uh, it's definitely a long drive every single day, but, um, you know, I get through it. Um, I try to avoid the traffic, I mean, um, as much as possible. Since the statistics show the typical mega commuter to be married men older than 30, who own three to four bedroom homes, earn a higher than average salary, and leave the house before 6 a.m. Two-thirds of them drive alone, which analysts say leads to congested commutes. What we're seeing is really intense commutes coming from San Joaquin County, coming from Yolo County and Sacramento, um, and, and our transportation investments need to be focused in ways that we're actually supporting existing Bay Area residents. Transportation analysts say the problem is the lack of affordable housing close to job centers. The solution? Analysts say more housing needs to be available in urban areas such as San Jose and Oakland, which could increase supply and stabilize prices. Otherwise, commutes on freeways like 580 will only get worse. We are seeing that the top congestion places are now suddenly Livermore. When did Livermore become the number two congestion spot in the Bay Area? And so what we're seeing is, well, as you look at one of, as you look at one of the uh, transportation spots here in the Bay Area, Highway 4, it's light now because it's the middle of the day. The Bay Area actually claimed the top two spots in this survey was San Francisco Peninsula, Oakland, number one for mega commuters, Santa Clara, number two, and coming in third was the New York, New Jersey area. Live in Antioch, Southcast Today, KTVU, Channel 2 News. Now, there is